Hi there. Welcome back to Simon Says. My name is Simon and today we're going to be having a look at the original SwitchBot. I've been wanting to try one of these things out since the first day I saw that little finger reaching out and pressing a button. And thanks to SwitchBot for sponsoring this video. So let's have it. So let's start off by unboxing this device. Comes in a neat little packaging and we'll just pull that out. Now the first thing that surprised me was the SwitchBot is actually smaller than what I'd first expected, having lots of seen lots of videos of it before. So let's open it up. It comes in this little plastic packaging and we've got a SwitchBot manual here with a QR code and then we have some 3M tape to adhere the switch bot down to a surface and we will then pull off this little release tag over here um, off the back of the device there's some plastic there so let's get rid of that there we go so it's all ready to go and all we need to do now is decide where we're going to place this device and then pull off the backing paper and stick it down so that we can see what it's going to do so first, so if I want to replace the battery on this device, it's got a little piece here that I'll just stick my thumbnail into. And there we go. That's how easy it is. So I've got access to the battery there. And um, I would imagine that is a reset button if you need to reset the device for some reason or another. So let's just pull the battery out and have a look. Yep, that's pretty neat. So it's got a reasonable size cell. I would imagine that the battery life on this would be Quite amazing it's a CR2 3 volt lithium battery so it'd be very interesting to see how long this actually lasts so we'll stick the battery back in there and we'll close it up and we'll test it out so there's a little LED light that comes on just telling us the battery's been pushed back in there and I will just close this up again there we go. So the first thing I need to do here is to download the SwitchBot app. So we just go into the App Store and search for SwitchBot. There we go. So we'll download that. And we'll give that a double click to do my face identification. And that will So all we do now is we go and press this little button here. And there we go, the switch bot is working. That's really neat. So if we have a look at it, just turn it up here and I'll do it again. Very neat. So first impressions of the device, it's a very, very neat little box. Uh, it feels really good quality wise. Um, I like the size, as I say, I thought it was smaller than what was expected and really easy to set up, literally, just down the load the app, agree to the permissions, and it is up and running. All right, so let's see how easy it is to integrate this product into Home Assistant. Now, if you come along here, you'll probably see that it's already showing as a notification and it's ready to install. But let's imagine it didn't show us that. It did on mine, but I've deleted it. I'm going to add it again now. So say it doesn't show, we can then go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration. And then we just look for the SwitchBot integration. It's a Home Assistant integration. We click on it there. Now it's picked it up. We go Submit. We select our area. It's in the bedroom. And we go Finish. Easy as that. So now we can go to our device. We can access it here. There are the controls off, on. And we've got the battery showing 100%. And if we wanted to activate that one, we can go along there and that will then, uh, it doesn't want to allow us to use this entity. There we go. We'll enable it. And this one will then show us our Bluetooth signal strength. So that is how easy it is to get the SwitchBot into your Home Assistant. And we can then use it to create a any type of automation to switch any device on or off. Works really well with items that have got buttons which are a single press on and uh, to like a, a toggle switch. And I'll say where it presses it once to go on, presses it again 
to go off. So I'm going to show you how I have stuck the SwitchBot onto my computer and it's switching my computer on and off. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see, I've installed the SwitchBot onto my computer. I'm using it to switch the power on and off of the computer, which I think will be really useful because I can have it switch the power on in the morning and I can then use my Broadlink to switch the TV on, which is my monitor. So effectively, I can set a time in the morning when I want the TV and the um, computer to come on and that is a great way for me to give a, a bit of a startup and I can get it to switch it off in the evening. So really, really impressed with the quality of this device. Really well manufactured. I was quite surprised because the computer switch is quite a stiff switch. So it needs quite a lot of force to actually switch that on and off. So I actually thought it might pull the adhesive off of the uh, switch bot, but no, not at all. This product has been well designed and it is going to make a very, very good application for many things. I would say it'd be great for something like a coffee machine to turn that on in the morning, your computer or any other type of press button switch I think will be really amazing with this device. So I'm honestly giving a big thumbs up to SwitchBot and I would say well worth integrating into your home assistant. Now SwitchBot does offer a hub. Uh, personally I've got a Bluetooth proxy running with my home assistant and that is what allowing it to collect directly to the integration in home assistant. But SwitchBot has a hub which they've been kind enough to send me as well. So we will do a review on the hub in another episode. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.